Hi, everyone. This is uh, Dr. Greg Caldwell of Optometric Education Consultants. Um, from time to time, I get a text message of someone, a colleague of mine, saying, hey, I have a patient here with a sty or dacryocystitis or just a infected goopy eye, and uh, they'll tell me that they have an allergy to penicillin or sulfa, and what can they prescribe? Or maybe they're even pregnant. What can they prescribe? So I decided to throw this quick little review together of what to prescribe for oral antibiotics uh, in eye care. So it's just a, you're not going to go too in depth here, just going to do a real quick review. So here's what I come up with. I have a, but uh, an antibiotic paradigm. Basically, this is for uh, for adults. We have penicillin, which would be Augmentin, Macrolide, which would be Zithromax, Cephalosporin would be Keflex, Sulfabactrim, and uh, the quinolones or the fluoroquinolones would be Cipro. This has changed over the, about the last four or five years with the uh, adverse drug reactions or side effects that are happening with the quinolones. I used to have Sulfa as the fifth, but Cipro and the quinolones have dropped back uh, into that fifth slot there. So let's talk about Augmentin. Augmentin is amoxicillin and clavulonic acid. Um, that is super important to know about the clav, uh, clavulonic acid. Um, this is what makes it that uber amoxicillin. If you remember, the eye usually has a lot of, you know, pus producing. Uh, and the, with that, what I want you to remember is that that's what has that beta lactamase. And that's what cleaves that beta lactam ring in these penicillin structures like amoxicillin, which if you use amoxicillin, ampicillin by itself, you might not get the uh, uh uh, efficiency or uh, 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 or the effectiveness that you're looking for. So adding in this clavulonic acid really, for lack of a better term, absorbs that beta lactam, allowing the penicillin structure to go in and kill that bacteria. What I love about this is it's great down to 12 weeks, pediatrics, geriatrics, everywhere in between, safe in pregnancy, the old category B. All you think you have to really watch out for is you know, that penicillin allergy. So when it comes to dosing, typical dose is going to be, you can see there's 250, 875. Most people are going to do 500 slash 125, 500 of the ampicillin and 125 of the clavulonic acid. And that's going to be uh, twice a day by mouth for a week. And what's really good about this to remind ourselves is it covers the staph and strep, which are the positives, gram positive bacteria, and your Haemophilus influenza, which is gram negative. So what happens if the patient is allergic to penicillin? Well, the answer is the macrolide antibiotics, which we all kind of grew up with in optometry school, knowing that that was azithromycin, but we don't really prescribe azithromycin. It's got a lot of GI upset. So azithromycin or that z pack, you know, that vitamin Z that's out there, again, drug of choice for penicillin sensitive patients. Again, uh, pediatrics, geriatrics, everyone in between. It's that five-day z pack that's out there, typically, which is going to be 250 milligrams twice a day on the first day, and then 250 for day two, three, four, and five, so the next four days, so that five-day z pack. Um, not really much known and talked about, but however, you can try, if you want, the tri-pack, the three-day tri-pack, which is the same amount of pills, six pills. You just take two, two, and two. And what's nice about uh, azithromycin is it, it's good for gram positive, gram negative, and it's category B. So really, that's why I like my paradigm, penicillin or a Z pack, depending what you're filling that day, good for pregnancy, good for gram positive, good for gram negative, children, geriatrics, everyone in between. Only thing you have to remember for those two, penicillin allergy, or are they allergic to the macrolides or you know that erythromycin category? Now, let's say you want to move on. You want to move into the next category. We all grew up in, you know, optometry school talking about Keflex, 500 milligrams by mouth twice a day. Um, the only thing you have to remember in this is that depending on the literature that you read, that there's a three to 10 percent cross reaction with penicillin. And that's because the organic structures look very similar in in the first generation. So if you have someone that's really allergic to penicillin with that three to 10%, we got the other um, medications out there. So obviously you'd go with a, 
a Z pack, but let's say they're allergic to macrolides and they're allergic to penicillin. I would probably avoid Keflex just because of that three to 10% because we have sulfa and we still have the fluoroquinolones to talk about. A little bit better for gram positive. Okay. For the gram negatives, but you know, typically that's what adults get are gram positive category B. So safe in pregnancy, that typical dosage is that 500 milligrams by mouth twice a day for a week. Now there's like seven generations, so we're not gonna talk about all seven generations, but we'll just quickly talk about the second generation, which is a little bit better for the Haemophilus influenza, which is gram negative. And maybe we would use that in children, but look, still good for with a category B for pregnancy. You know, you don't have that cross reaction, that organic structure, structure starts to change. When you get into second and third, you don't have to have that as much concern with that cross reaction with penicillin because the 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 structures that look different in those antibodies those allergic antibodies are not going to react now sulfa this is the fourth generation bactrim ss single strength or bactrim double strength the double strength is what's prescribed more than more than anything so that's 800 milligrams of sulfa methoxazole and the trimethoprene here. So 800 milligrams of the sulfa medication, 160 milligrams of the trimethoprene. You can see that's exactly double of the Bactrim single strength. Uh, so you're going to just do Bactrim D DS or Bactrim double strength, 800 milligrams, 160. That's one tablet by mouth twice a day for a week. That's out there. Check for those sulfur allergies to those antibiotics uh, that are out there. All right, the last one that we're going to talk about, the last category, and you should be able to pretty much treat whatever you want, depend on, but depending on those allergies, would be your fluoroquinolones. In here is Cipro and Leviquin, or Levofloxacin and Ciprofloxacin. They're really effective. They're awesome. They, they, they're gram positive, gram negative. You do have to remember here, though, 18 years or older, don't use in pregnancy, breastfeeding, can't use in kids again, 18 years or older. That's the oral form. So if you've given ofloxacin to someone younger, the topical is okay. You know, Cipro drops, ofloxacin drops, okay. In the, I guess if you want to say in the pediatric or less than 18 group, just remember in the orals. So that's why, again, it drops down. Lots of things to remember um, when you start getting towards the end of this paradigm. And uh, you're going to use 500 milligrams uh, twice a day uh, by mouth for a week. If you're going to do Cipro, it's once a day. If you're going to do Leviquin. And I just didn't really talk about the adverse drug effects of the other ones, but this is the reason why we dropped it down or I dropped it down to the, to the fifth spot is that QT prolongation and these newer agents, photosensitivity, tendon ruptures that are out there. So to wrap up this video on what to do when patients show up with allergies is that we have the penicillin, which would be augmentin, uh, which would be 500 milligrams of the amoxicillin, 125 of the clavulonic acid, again, by mouth, twice a day for a week. I think we're all familiar in the macrolide group with that Z pack. It's going to be six pills, two on the first day, four or one pill on the next four days. Keflex is going to be 500 milligrams by mouth, twice a day for a week. That's your cephalosporin, back to the sulfa. We got Bactrim, uh, double strength with the 800 milligrams of the sulfa agent, 160 of the trimethoprene, again, by mouth, twice a day for a week. And then if you're going to jump to the Cipro, uh, we're going to do 500 milligrams by mouth, twice a day for a week. So if you have a patient that shows up with an allergy and you have to try and treat a sty, a dacryos, a stitis, some type of ocular infection where you're going to use an oral, I hope you found this little review helpful for you. And uh, thanks for, you know, trusting Optometric Education Consultants uh, with your education. If you like this, please leave a comment. Please like it. Uh, and also make sure you subscribe because we're going to be doing more of these between uh, myself, Joe, and some of the other colleagues out there. So turn on notifications, like, subscribe, and please leave a comment. We appreciate it. Thank you very much.